let's go ahead and paint Bosk now from Star Wars Legion. We're gonna go ahead and do this quickly, just like in the previous videos. So anyone can pick this up, pick up these techniques, quickly get them all done, and tabletop ready. I'm gonna keep Bosk near or similar to his movie theme and colors. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a Averland Sunset Yellow. So go ahead and put that on your wet palette. All right, let's go ahead and begin the timer now. Get some of your yellow. And we're just gonna coat his entire midsection here. It's okay if you get the other parts on the model. We just want it to be nice and quick here. You can choose whatever yellow you would like. And it's okay if you get it on his skin. I'm gonna come back over with a greenish, light green color. And we'll fill in the details later. I'm the type of painter that likes to put his models together completely and glue them in place. Just because if I'm trying to paint a part of the model that once it's glued, I'm not gonna see that often, I'm not too worried about it. And if it's hard to paint, it'll give it that shadow as not being as bright. I'm not saying that people who do are wrong. It's just something that takes more time and I'm not gonna worry about it too much. So I went and chose to go with you know, his weapon and then his poison and his other hand as he has a couple options with either holding his weapon with both hands or just one. I feel like this one is just a little bit more dynamic. And that's kind of why I went for it. All right, that's looking pretty good. A 
We'll go ahead and pause here. I've let this first coat dry. As you can see, it has done really nicely to stick to this model. Remember, this model that I purchased with my eBay, large Legion models, already came primed. So that was very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do another quick coat of the yellow. Let's go ahead and start the camera. Now this is not necessary. I just want to make sure and get a nice bright color on here because we may be going back over it with a wash later and that usually dulls it down a little bit. So if you're worried about it being too bright, you know, don't worry, it'll be coming down. It is really nice to paint a model for the Imperials that's not, you know, armor or you know, white or black. This will really make this 800 point army pop. And Bosk has, you know, a whitish cream color vest right here on his chest. Making it yellow first, you know, it'll take better to the white compared to the darker color underneath. So I'm not too worried about it. And I think that'll be good. Nice and thin, a couple coats, really does the trick. Okay, go ahead and pause here. Clean your brush off. Before we go and add on the white vest, I want to do his skin color now and then work on his eyes and face and get that out of the way. You can use whatever you know, green you'd like. I'm going to use a darker green right now. I'll go ahead and do some Lauren Forest. really like this green and I'm planning on going back over and doing a little bit of highlighting with a little brighter green so we're just going to get this darker color down first you see I got a little bit right there on his pants that's all right Add a little bit more paint to my palette. 
Make sure and go back in with a little bit of water if you need to. Thin it down. Don't worry about painting over you know, his weapons or anything, we can go back in and add that in. Oops. We're going to go ahead and get his head now. Just go ahead and coat the entire thing. nice and thin to show those scales. You don't want to cover those up or lose that detail. So if you have to do multiple coats, that's all right. This is one of our centerpieces of this army. We can spend a little bit more time on these guys. Okay, so there he is. Go ahead and pause. Wash your brush on. I've had time to dry. Just one coat with the green has really done a good job. We have the majority of the model covered now, just some a little bit over 10 minutes. So now we're going to focus on the eyes. I'm going to mix a little bit of this Troll Slayer Orange with my yellow that we've used before. His eyes are kind of an orangish yellow color and then we'll do some pupils. So go ahead and add just a little bit of orange to your wet palette here. I'm going to show you how we mix this up here. Something aside there. So I got my orange here, just a little bit. I'm going to come over here and get a little bit of our yellow. And mix it in here. By all means, you can make his eye colors, whatever you like. But I kind of want something that pops. So it's a little lighter orange. I think I might want a little bit lighter. Get some more yellow. Add that directly in here. Okay. I like that color there. Go ahead and wash your brush. Get a smaller brush now, wet it down, and we'll go ahead and start the timer here. I'm going to take this orange color now, and it's okay if we get it on the green. I just wanted that base color down so we can get it. So 
just like that. And it's okay if you get his green, it's absolutely fine. We'll fix that in a moment. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for a moment. We've had time to let that dry. Let's go ahead and restart this up. As you can see, I was very messy. We're gonna go ahead and get our same orange here. And just do another coat so we can make sure and get his entire pupil nice and orange. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and let that dry now. Yeah, we've let this dry. So now we have a good orange eye. If it's too orange, you know, put some more yellow in it. Get it to how you like. I'm fine with this. I'm gonna go ahead and get our black, make a little pupil. Now his eye pupils are slanted horizontally a little bit. Let's go ahead and Put some black on the wet palette. I'm going to move this over now that the orange is done. Go ahead and start the timer here. And I'm just going to be making a movement of like this. You can even have the model come down like this if you'd like. However is easiest for you. Just like that. And on the other side here. If you come back here and look at it now, it looks good. And let's say you mess up, you know. Let the black dry completely. And go back over to your yellow or orange. Reapply it on the eye socket and start over. Very, very thin coats. So we look at it now. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and wash your brush. So I'm gonna go back to my wet palette and get my green and do a touch up around his eyes. We'll go ahead and start this up again. This is where you wanna be just a little bit more careful. You can see clean that up really makes it pop now. All right, go ahead and go to the other side. What's nice about this model is, you know, his eyes are bigger since it's more lizard-like. I guess I should say Trandoshan like. But all the scales are raised, so it's nice and easy to, you know, paint within the lines of the model. So now, looking at it, it's some really cool effects now. And his pupils are big enough, so when you're on the table, you can see his eye sockets. 
Feel free to make them as big or skinny as you'd like. Okay, I'm happy where my orange is now. Go ahead and stop the timer. I'm gonna try some more gas bone for his teeth. I'll use this for his hands and feet as well. Go ahead and apply a little bit of that to your wet palette. Okay, let's go ahead and start the timer again. Now you can try to paint them each individually, but kind of just go on the inside of his mouth here like this. Okay, left a little black there. I think that's good. Just gonna immediately keep that timer going. Wash my brush. Go back to my green. And let's fix up our lines here. Okay, got that done, go ahead and pause. Now that we've had time for his teeth to dry, really makes the model stand out even more. So we've got our base colors down on his face. So now we can move on to, let's go ahead and make his skin color gradient here. Let's get a little bit of a lighter green. As you can see, it's just a little brighter here. Go ahead and put that on your wet palette here next to your other color. Add a little bit of water. And go ahead and drag it into here a little bit. Get this nice color in the middle. Wash my brush to get the mist of it off. Right, we're gonna go ahead and get our model here. Start our color. Grab some of that metal green. Mm -hmm. 
And we're gonna focus on the top of his head here. Just apply it nicely on the top. And on his nose here. Go ahead and get it on his arms if you're doing it from the above for your light. It's kind of like that. And the other side. Come back, it's already starting to dry and blend in really well, giving that extra level of detail. I'm gonna leave his feet alone down here, or maybe you can come in on the back side here of this heel, do a little bit right here. Maybe a little bit on the side of here. I'm gonna just kind of leave it as that because we're gonna go back in and dry brush. A little bit of dirt, so let's not spend too much time on that. Go back in here, let's do another coat of that mid tone color. Maybe get some of the scales here on the back a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and now wash your brush completely. Get a smaller little brush here. And just get that straight color here. And come back on the top of his head here. Just wanna get Show that brightness. A little bit on his arm here. And his other arm. Looks pretty bright right now, but it'll start to dry and blend in. But this really just gives it an extra pop. It's not too hard. If you get a little much on his nose, come back, wash your brush, go back and get some of your darker green. And uh, I'm going to switch brushes to my smaller one here. Come back down here. Just reapply it. If you got too much bright green. Okay.
go ahead and let that dry. All right, we've had time to dry. As you can see, it really just makes the model pop that much more. I'm gonna go ahead and do another lighter green. Add this. Now, if you don't have all these greens, just use some white and drag it in. We're already mixing, it's just kind of makes it easier on you if you're not used to mixing paint. I'm just going to add a little bit of this lighter green here. And then I'm going to mix it in with the last color. We're going to use this to highlight the scales. Wash your brush. Get your small brush ready here. Go ahead and start the timer. Just get a little bit on the tip of your brush here, your small one. I'm gonna come in here from the top. Just kinda get a little bit here on. The scales. Maybe the brim of his nose a little bit, his lips, his eyebrow scales here. Use the back a little bit here. And then come down on his arm here where you've already, already highlighted. Just paint in some of his scales here. As you can see, it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of dot as you go. You can spend a lot of time on this step if you'd like. Highlighting each individual scale. You just kind of tap it like this. Goes a little quicker. As you can see, it just really makes it stand out even more now. Now I'm gonna go wash my brush. Go straight for that light green now. And only apply it on the very tip of his head. Maybe a little bit of his eyebrows here. Nose and mouth just a little bit. And then maybe a little bit of his scales. Just a couple here. Like so. And the other side. It's still going to dry, but it's going to blend in really well. And you can spend a lot of time on this step if you'd like. But this is just a quick and easy way to do some easy blending. Now, for example, if you're unhappy with a certain spot, you'll come back in here with your medium dark color green here. You can see this line here, if it's too much for you, just kind of back in here and drag it up. Fix it up a little bit so it blends in a little easier. And do the same on this side. It's 
too much. I think that looks good though. That helps his arm a little bit there. You know, if you think it's a little not as good of a transition on this side, come back in here with a darker color. And you can, you know, fix it on this side too. If you want some more highlights of the really light green, if you like it, just get a little bit. It's easy to overdo this step. You do another coat. Get a couple of his scales where the brightest light would be. Okay. We'll call that good. Go ahead and stop the timer. Wash your brush. Let's look at the model now. I really like the gradients of the green here. It's still going to dry. It'll be really nice. Okay. It makes the model stand out now. We're going to go ahead and move on. Spend as much time as you like on that step. We're gonna go ahead and do some more of our Morgas bone color. And we're gonna color in you know, his chest piece here on the front and back. Go ahead and put some more of this on your wet palette. Water it down a little bit. You don't want to lose all of that detail. Let's go ahead and start our timer. And if you get the yellow, that's okay. We'll fix it. I'm going to try my best not to, but it's all right if you do. Okay, that looks good there, like that. Now, just wash your brush. We're gonna get a smaller one here.
and we're gonna paint the inside of this. Straps here on his body. This really makes the model come together after just painting the straps here. And I'm planning on painting some of the other parts on his suit a little gray color. Very happy how that's turned out. Go ahead and wash your brush here. I'm going to go back to our yellow, do a little bit of touch up. Especially underneath here, and a little farther. I wanted to with the white. And then going back in here, touching it back up. Don't spend too much time on it because you know, his armor doesn't have to be perfect by any means. That's that's the most important thing. Okay, I'm happy with that. Go ahead and push pause. Wash a brush. The model is really coming together now. Start the timer. And 
Now there's different pictures of them, but you can paint them however you like. I've seen some of the popular pictures with the shoulders here being a little black. Just these here, so. Go ahead and paint it on here. And if you get the yellow, that's all right. Just try not to get his face at all. That can be a little more difficult to fix. Not impossible. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Do the other side now. Okay, that looks good. Gives the model even more detail now. While we're on our black, we're gonna go ahead and continue on and paint his gun here. Still with my finer brush near his green skin we worked so hard on. Especially right here, be very careful. It's harder to fix shading when you've already done it. Maybe I should have done the black first, but. I like to do the details a little later on, so.
All right. Some other places I want to get black on are going to be these wrist cuffs here to match the rest of the armor. And if you're going to get it anywhere, it's best to get it on the yellow instead of the green. Because we can go back and fix that a little easier. Okay, so that's good there. Let's do the other side. I notice a little spot over here I want to get. There we go. Okay. It's really coming together now. So I've got black everywhere that I want it. And we'll go ahead and pause the timer here. Start our timer again. Okay, there we go. So I'll have to go back over it. Yeah, so he's looking pretty good. Any color. Let's get some Dawn Stone. Let's go ahead and start the timer. I just wanted it to be a different color. Obviously you don't have to change the color if you want to just keep it more simple and quick. But it's something I wanted to do. Differentiate the model a little bit. Okay, that makes that front part pop off. I'm gonna go ahead and paint these on his knees, a gray color as well. And over here on his thigh, Okay. 
and the back. I'm gonna do we're gonna paint that white. Keep these gray here. Clean my brush. Go back to that same color we've been working with for the last few minutes. And let's just paint the rest of this hose here that white color that wraps around his body. There. So that matches a lot better now. We got his gray on him here, so that's good. There's one last thing I want to do before we do a wash. I'm going to go ahead and utilize this same orange color here for what we did for his eyes and do his collar. Looking at his pictures here, some of them have this a little darker of a color than the rest of his suit. Some pictures have it as like a red color, but this will be fine. I'm gonna go in for a different brush here. Especially around this side here. There we go. Makes that pop out a little bit more as well. How's this? Wash your brush. Alright. So we've got a lot of the model here completed. I just noticed that any bit color his leg separation that gray color so I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush again utilize my gray here and come back over here and touch this up around his leg area I'm not too worried about it getting perfect because we're going to come in here with that dry brushing and really make it a little more dirty. So as long as we get the majority of the yellow off of them, it'll be good. Okay, pause it now. Let's go ahead and paint The grenade here in his arm, his hand. He's gonna do a gray color here.
Okay, we'll let that dry. Pause this here. So let's go ahead and get our lone oil. Pick that up. Want a kind of a nice thistle brush here. Go ahead and start the timer. So I'm going to apply it everywhere except his green. So just be a little careful here. Add some water if you think it's too, too much darkness in some areas. Drag the paint around to all the areas. Okay, and then get some more water on. You can pull it off of the shoulders here and top up here to make sure it stays brighter on the top of the model. Dry your brush, come back in and pick it up. You can do the same over here. Dry your brush, come back in and pick it up here before it dries too much. If you don't like, I'll probably have that all off camera. Oops, pick up some of the darkness here on the front. Okay, so I avoided his skin. But applied it to everywhere else. Now it really just blends that model in that much more. And since you didn't see, if it was off camera, I applied wet water to my brush and took off the darkness on the top so it's a little brighter than the rest of the yellow and white on him. This really just kind of gives those shadows a little bit more. Avoiding the skin since we did highlighting really makes it come together. Okay, we'll go ahead and pause and let that dry. Some Mooth Green. We're going to put this... Probably should have done that first. Inside some of the areas of the grenade to show some of the poison possibly. Go ahead and put that on your wet palette. Add just a tiny bit of water. Get your small brush. Let's go ahead and start the timer. It doesn't fall over again. Yeah. I'm gonna go in here. See the little water it puddles up in the middle here. That's what I was wanting. And on this side here. Get a little bit more. 
see that separation? I'm gonna do it on this inside part. You just have to tap inside there and it'll flow into it. Just like that. So that's pretty cool. Nice bright green color to show that poison grenade. Okay, we'll pause this. Alright, let's go ahead and start the timer here. It's going to use our red here from the other day. Get some water to activate it up again here. Just like that. Get some of it off of your brush. I'm just going to do a little bit here on the top of the grenade to get that button here. Just like that. Washer brush. What we're gonna get is claws. I'm gonna get all that red out of there. Go back to your same color we've been utilizing this time. And we're gonna just grab his. Claws just a little bit like this. And the other hand here. Okay. We can go ahead and get his feet. Don't worry too much about him because we're going to be you know, putting a bunch of basing on. Just like that. Pause this. So pretty happy where he is right now. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and use our Armageddon dust and put some basing on. Go ahead and shake that up. Same as we have with the last videos with the same theme of basing. Go ahead and start the timer again here. And this was a, why I wasn't worried about, you know, getting his feet all perfect. Because using this will save you time. I pretty much covered the entire base with the color I want. Now you can go back in and get some more if you want to put some more texture on it. I'm just kind of clump it up here a little bit. Maybe some more back here. And maybe you can get a little bit on his 
feet here like so. We'll come back and dry brush though, but sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a little thicker of a texture. Make the dry brushing work. Okay. Go ahead and pause this. Wash your brush completely from that. And I like to get my thumb and clean the edge of the base as best as I can. So he looks pretty cool. It's a fun model to paint. And we'll let that dry and come back. The base has had time to dry. Let's go ahead and use white scar. Put it on your dry brush. And we're going to do the base here. Highlight some of those ridges that we've got on it. Got to push start. And if you get white on the model, that's all right. If you get too much, then we're gonna go back to Zandri Dust and brush it up. So don't worry too much. Just give some base and technique there. And do his weapon a little bit here like this. We don't wanna get it on his green skin we worked so hard on. So just be aware of that. I like how that's turned out. Let's go ahead and push pause here. Now we get sandry dust. Go ahead and push start here. And if you got too much white on the base, you can come back with the same color. And Mark it down a little bit more. There we go. We're going to go ahead and get his feet here. Show that it's pretty dusty. Really ties the model in to the base. Just like in our previous videos for this same army. Go ahead and do it as much as you'd like. Not too much to lose complete detail. That just really makes it look awesome. And I think that'll be good. Push pause here. Now we're gonna do the edge of the base, the rim. So get our black color. and start this up again. Just use the side of a thicker brush here to put the black on the edge. Okay. Use the same brush strokes, just back and forth here. And there he is. 
So just a little bit over an hour, hour and two minutes of painting. Obviously with myself pausing and talking, you know, this video will be a little longer. But this just shows you actual painting time. It doesn't take too much to spend a little bit of time with your model and get it tabletop ready. Just go ahead and clean your brushes. All right, Bosque is finished now. He's pretty cool looking. Especially if you see him set him down. He looks great with our highlights. That bright green on his grenade in his right hand. Just really cool. We'll go ahead and finish this up though. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I appreciate all the subscribers and comments. It means a lot, thank you so much. This finishes this 800 point army. So the next video you'll see is all of it together in one place. And we'll be doing a giveaway of the entire 800 point army, unit cards, tokens, all included. So be sure to stay tuned and you guys have a good day.